everybody. Thank you very much for tuning in again. My name is Anne Fusos, and in this video you will see me paint troubled waters while I babble away on how I came to paint with watercolors or how I or how watercolors actually became my medium of of choice. How this happened. So when I became or became when I began painting and that's even that's wrong also. So I have been painting or sketching or scribbling or however you want to call it, <laughs> drawing for all my life. So as for as long as I can remember as a child already, I was coloring blank papers one way or the other. So in the beginning it was like with every child the same or the same as it was with every child. It was just lines and colors and this is a butterfly and in the end it was not really a butterfly but um, some bubble <laughs> with sticks in it. Anyway that's how it began. I was um, and ever since I have been drawing as soon as I had the chance to and at school, like I went to school in Germany and in school you had uh, the subject art, Kunst, <laughs> and you learn like different things. You learn like um, in German it was the in Germany it was the wheel of color for example, like you learn that you have the three base colors plus black and white and then you you can mix them a certain way and what colors those will become then and the the um, most common medium in at school was watercolors not like the professional ones but like the ones you buy for your kids so they can paint and have a nice afternoon and i didn't really like that at all i preferred sketching with a pencil graphite pencil and uh, that's apart from from school i only use graphite pencils for a long long time or maybe uh, felt pens I think they are called but not really um, I didn't really like them very much either because you couldn't like erase <laughs> wrong lines so the graphite pencil solution was really nice because when you did something wrong you could just use a rubber and erase it and try again for as long as the paper can stand the erasing of course so it's been, um, I used those for a very long time and it was uh, not until, I don't know, like when I was 11 or 12, we got a, an art teacher who actually wanted us to paint with or to sketch or draw uh, with um, graphite pencils. Like a really, a, a huge, it was a huge painting or drawing a picture actually. And uh, she, that's when I learned that, or she told us, there's different kinds of graphite pencils. Like there's the softer ones and the harder ones, and uh, you can use them to to achieve certain effects. Like the softer ones for really dark, and the the harder ones for really uh, light graphite lines and shadowing and hatching and everything. And um, this was really very inspiring and I went, uh, I dove even deeper into graphite pencils and sketching and everything with graphite pencils mm, for a long long time until like even in when I was older uh, like 16, 17 it was always the same I never used anything else we had to at school we had to use like acrylic paints and I think there was once a painting we had to do with gouache and I never really it never really resonated with me and the watercolors not at all either so we used uh, we, we had to use them time and again at school but it never really worked for me until I until after my studies actually I finished school I went to university and after that I um, uh, was the time when I actually began browsing the internet before I didn't really have access the because not because I wouldn't have the technical technical possibility but simply because I wasn't interested and suddenly I discovered the internet as a source of incredible art 
and the, I could spend like hours surfing the most beautiful paintings and sketches also uh, but mostly it was like oil paintings or it was acrylic paintings it was um, and a lot of watercolor paintings I found with or through my searches and I realized that the pictures I liked most <laughs> were actually colorful or colored pictures like or paintings like they were not graphite there were nice sketches out there of course and even graphite art graphite pencil art but um the pictures i liked most were like really really colorful and uh, i came across uh, a couple of watercolor artists that really really inspired me to buy my first set of watercolor pigments even it, i didn't even buy the the ready-made uh, paint but i bought the pigments and mixed them myself then with water and uh, gum arabicum and everything and i really that was the moment from from when on i only or i painted a lot with watercolors it was <laughs> really frustrating in the beginning simply because um, you have to get to know your medium you have to get to know your paper you have to to buy certain brushes or you don't have to but i i bought certain brushes uh, and certain papers and um, i i watched loads and tons of watercolor tutorials and how to's on youtube and um, i downloaded a lot of uh, a lot of watercolor paintings and uh, enlarged them uh, to see like in detail how how the artist um, moved the brush in the end over the paper and etc and by by constant trial and error <laughs> i finally uh, i finally how would you say that um i finally discovered watercolor for myself and today this is the medium I am using most. I sometimes use gouache. I did try oils and um, but that are not they're not really for me I think. Anyway this is how I came to watercolor paintings like very late in my life uh, compared to other artists and on weird ways but this is the medium of choice I have or I use today in all of my paintings actually. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed watching me paint Troubled Waters, uh, starring a Kelpie. And um, I hope you're in for another video next time. Have a great time until then and bye bye.